morning so today is the 12th of january and i am going to be starting or restarting a rapid revisions 50 day program uh, from prep ladder and i'm going to spend the next 50 days following that revision schedule and hopefully be more prepared for the neat pg that still the date hasn't come out as of today so i'm assuming that we have the whole of march and that's why i'm doing a 50 day schedule followed by 30 less than 30 depending on you know uh clarity when the dates come out uh today i am going to be studying pathology pathology is for um three days in the rapid revision but i'm only going to be spending two days on it oh my god my acne is pretty bad today this is never ending also like why am i so slow i just don't understand all right so it's almost 10 o'clock and i have finished kidney and i have started reading endocrinology so i think i'm going to finish reading endocrine and then tomorrow instead of spending time reading the notes first i am watching the videos which is what i did today i am going to jump straight into the mcqs and then read so that i can get through it faster hopefully i can do better than i did today in terms of mcqs i am supposed to wake up at five in the morning Alright, so day to update. Um, this morning, I had to go to the hospital with my grandparents because they became really ill early in the morning. And I was there until like mid-afternoon, 2-3 o'clock when I got back. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of sitting around while we were waiting for reports to come in. So I tried to do some MCQs while I was sitting there. Didn't really get through a lot but uh, you know it was an effort that i made anyway so i got back took a nap ate some food because i hadn't had anything to eat uh, since the morning and updated everybody in my family and now i am gonna go and do questions hopefully i won't have to go back to the hospital right now um but i might have to in which case my plans will change. Lol, change of plans, going to the hospital right now. And then we have um, some, oh, there's like clothes over there. Okay, but um, there's some family friends who are going or like moving and they have, it's not a farewell per se, but like they're leaving at 3 a.m. in the morning. So we have to help them with dinner and stuff. So, well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey, so today is day three of rapid revision and I wasn't able to finish pathology yesterday because of all of the stuff that was going on, but I've decided to move on. So today was anesthesia and uh, mostly my goal for anesthesia is to do mcqs and try to finish the q bank on prep ladder there are a lot of questions but i'm going to try to get through as many as possible and hope i can finish all of them initially i used to think that it's better to finish a subject before moving on to the next one uh, because i hadn't revised the entire syllabus once completely but now that i have revised the syllabus once I feel a little bit more comfortable leaving topics to stay on schedule instead. Yesterday was a pretty tough day in terms of things that were happening and I don't know, it was just one of those days where 
things are so beyond your control even though you try to structure your day so that you can achieve all of your goals things just happen and suddenly you're swept along and i'm not somebody who you know uh is able to compartmentalize my life very well so what that means for me is that one aspect of my life kind of bleeds into another and usually it's all right i'm not uh, unaware of this happening so i'm able to manage it properly but yesterday things just kept happening when even when i came back home and i tried to do mcqs um uh i had like people interrupting me throughout the whole day asking questions trying asking me to explain things and that makes complete sense it's you know how things work when you're a doctor and somebody is ill and i don't um, i don't mind that at all and maybe that's one of the reasons why i am able to have the energy to continue today and go strong and complete all of my goals because that's you know one of the smallest things that i'm trying to achieve on a day to day basis is that i achieve the goals that i set out every single day and hopefully that'll take care of the more intermediate goals i have especially when a uh, neat pg is concerned so yeah that's kind of my thoughts on um, the first two days of rapid revision so quick update the neat pg date is finally out the exam is on the 18th of april which is not that far off i'm pretty excited about it finally i feel like i have focus and i have a lot more motivation because i know exactly how long i need to keep preparing for so it's easier to go hard it's kind of ridiculous how just this one piece of news has elevated my mood so much and the revision plan that i have right now seems to be good for that date so i'm going to stick with it i'm not going to make any huge changes to it so yeah that's the plan and um yay we know when the exam is finally i'm awake going to do some yoga sorry excuse my hair but i'm going to get ready for the day right now i do feel a little sleepy so hopefully you know i don't fall asleep early morning <laughs> pollution Honestly sometimes I feel like I'm a pirate warrior going out for war every time I start my day looking at all of the smog and fog in the morning uh So it's the end of day four of rapid revision, and today I was doing pharmacology, and I was able to get through a significant number of MCQs. The Q banks in pharma are pretty long; like all of them have fifty, sixty, seventy, um, eighty questions, and uh, it took me a lot longer to get through them because. I didn't check how many questions there'd be in each question bank which is why I 
I think overestimated how much I could do. Uh, tomorrow is the last day for pharma and then I'm going to do a grand test on Sunday. Another really interesting thing that I realized was that when I was younger and when I was in school, I used to be pretty good with multiple choice questions. So I'd end up getting a few incorrect. Whereas now when I do question banks, it's a fight for every single right question. Uh, it doesn't feel like, oh no, this question's wrong. It's more of a, yes, I got this question right. And to me, it's such a big change that I've only just realized that actually the kind of student that I was in school is really different from the kind of student I am now in terms of that I work harder now, but I get worse results. Whereas when I was in school, I used to work a lot less and I used to get better results. And obviously that's just the nature of the type of things that I'm studying right now. And uh, it's completely understandable. I'm not really upset about it, but it was interesting for me to have this thought today while I was doing the question bank and wondering why I was getting so exhausted while doing this when, you know, it was a lot easier for me to do these type of MCQs when I was in high school. Also for context, I went to an American school. So that's why we had a lot more multiple choice questions. And that's why I had a lot of practice doing an MCQs when I was in high school. But yeah, that's basically my thoughts for day four closing up. In fact, it's past 12. So it is day five now, technically. And I'm going to go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wow. The weather is just... just finished writing the script for my next video which is going to be a review of the new updates in prep ladder so that video is probably going to come out before this one and i'll shoot that either tonight um at like midnight which will be just just great and uh hopefully it'll be up so that in case you want to know more about prep ladder's new updates you can go check that out it took me a lot longer to make the script, write the script because I was actually re researching the app and going through it to make an informed review so that I know what I'm actually talking about. And also to just see the update because I use Prep Ladder and I should know <laughs> what's up with the app. Anyway, now I am going to go back to work because I still haven't hit my daily goals and uh, yeah i feel like this is just going to be the theme until the exam where every day i'm desperately trying to finish <laughs> my goals every single day and um, yeah the struggle is real people the struggle is real so i think i probably overestimated myself i am just not in the right energy level i feel like if I want to make a good video, I'm going to have to have a little bit more energy. So I think I'm just gonna shoot that tomorrow morning. And right now I'm going to spend the rest of the time or the rest of the night answering MCQs, trying to get as much practice in as I can before the GT tomorrow. Um, it's, it's half past 11 right now. So I think I'm gonna keep going for another half an hour and then see where I'm at. So yeah, that's my last update for tonight. I will see you all bright and early tomorrow. Hey, so this is my day six update. Um, this is going to be the last day in this vlog 
and today is a GT day. Today is a video shooting day and also a backlog day. And as you can see, I've straightened my hair for the video and put on some makeup. I don't know if that's completely visible, but um, I really like doing these just because it gives me an opportunity to kind of dress up and then I'm going to take the GT, which is at this point going to last into the afternoon. And then I'll see how much time I have for completing my backlog because the GT review uh, like the results for the GT won't be out and the solutions won't be out until later. So I'm going to have to do that throughout the week, just like I did last week. So I just finished recording the video and that took a lot less time than expected. Glad for that. And now I'm going to go and uh, transfer all of that to all of the footage to my iPad and quickly edit it. I like making these kind of videos. The editing really isn't much. I'll sync the audio and then I'm going to go and do my grand test. And the reason I'm syncing the audio and doing that before I do my grand test is because I know I'm going to get distracted and keep thinking about it. So I'd rather just do it right now and then give my test full focus. So. Hey guys, so I didn't shoot any of the revision that I'd done after taking the grant test because I'd gone downstairs to my living room and my family was there and I didn't want to set up a camera downstairs. So that's why I don't have any footage of that. But to give you a quick update, in terms of backlog, I managed to finish the pharma that I hadn't done yesterday as well as the um a couple of topics from pathology which i still have some topics left i have hematology left so i'm just going to find a day where i have less things to do or a subject that i cover a little faster and i'm going to put those topics in there yeah that's been a week of doing rapid revision the first week and i have six more to go and i think if i you know, if you guys actually enjoy this, I'm going to continue it and make it a thing. So with that being said, I am going to go sleep now and um, wake up bright and early for week number two. Bye.